Hello, welcome. Today we're going to make the most amazing bread you've ever tasted. And I'm not kidding. Okay, so let's just say you have all day to make bread. Or you're busy and you can just set your timer for an hour and then go turn your mixture on and let it um, uh, rise. And then just give it a little turn on so that it can um, punch down your dough in the mixer. And let it go like maybe five or six times you're going to end up with artisan french bread it's going to be so good you're going to love it okay so the recipe for french bread is also so easy i love making it when i'm kind of short on time and i think i just need to put some bread together really quickly for my family it's the perfect thing 12 uh not 12 four and a half cups of warm water and you want to make sure your water is just kind of lukewarm to where it's not hot and not cold. When you put it on your wrist, you can't feel it. That's the perfect temperature. Okay, so for this, because you're having it go so through so many rises, it's not going to really look like it rose very much the first few rises because the yeast is going to grow. We're going to use just a half a teaspoon of yeast. So if you like the idea of using less yeast and of the yeast kind of digesting the gluten in your um, bread flour, this is the recipe for you also. So just half a teaspoon of yeast, four teaspoons of salt, a tablespoon of vinegar, and three tablespoons of white sugar. So you can see no fat either. So if you're worried about um, fat calories, French bread is the perfect bread recipe also. So I'm just going to let this go. I keep my yeast in the freezer and keep it in the cupboard maybe just a couple weeks so I don't ever worry about testing my yeast. If your yeast, if you're worried about it, you can let it sit for a few minutes and let it froth up. But um, I find that the yeast, if the, I make bread all the time so I just don't worry about it. Um, 12 cups of flour and you can take your dough hook and kind of mix it up a little bit first and it's just going to be on low uh, the lowest speed anyways um, but sometimes with I like to pack my mixer full and so sometimes the flour comes flying out so I find like if I just hand mix it a little bit that doesn't happen so we're going to do this and you can if you want a rustic bread you can just set your timer for a couple minutes but if you want um, like a little smoother consistency then um, and kind of lighter then you'll do it for maybe five minutes so we're gonna let this go get nice and mixed up and then let's just say this went for five minutes and I would get a damp cloth and I would get just a little bit of wet from the sink and I would put this over it and I would set the timer for an hour. And then I would just, every time, or every time I walk by the mixer or come in the kitchen, I just turn it on a little bit and let the dough hook punch the dough down and then set the timer again and cover it up and re-wet this if it's gotten dry. And so it'll keep it nice and moist in there and you're going to do that like five or six times and pretty soon you're going to see it really is going to rise double. At first you're like, oh, oh, it looks like the yeast isn't working, but it is. It's just growing. So don't worry about that. And then once you let it go through all the rises, you're just going to shape it. I divide the dough into three loaves, kind of roll it out and sometimes I twist them a little bit and put them on a greased um, pan. Let it rise again for an hour in the oven. I always close the door because that's kind of a nice environment for rising bread. Even if it's like you don't have a gas um, oven, if it's electric, just that it's kind of nice and, and moist in there. And then after an hour, bake it for 350 at, for uh, 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. And then when it comes out, you're gonna have the best bread ever. My family, when I got this, I made this last night, and they went through a whole life, a whole loaf, 
<laughs> um, after dinner even. So that's how good it is. It's just a really nice consistency and even this morning the kids were like all, oh, Mom, this bread is so good. So that'd be a nice treat for your family, for you and your family. Enjoy. Thanks for joining me.